making a topic. Actually, yeah, we are going to talk about something. All right. So, um, basically, do you know what the Roblox egg hunt is? No. All right. Well, let I me ask not. you this. How long have you been playing Roblox for? Um, my first account, I was eight years old. Well, so, well, well, well ha ha hang on a second. So, the egg hunt is a very big deal in Roblox. You said you've had your account since you were eight, but yeah. you don't know what the egg hunt is? I don't think so. All right. So like, in okay, short, wait. Egg, do you mean like an Easter egg hunt? Kind of. Or like little Easter eggs that Roblox people put in their games. Yes, the second one. Okay. Okay. No, I do not know of the Roblox in general, but I know of little games that I do play. They have little eggs in their games. Is the egg hunt something you would participate in, or? Um, I don't necessarily actually know what egg hunt you're speaking of so i don't think i would be a very liable person like like cardi b says you're, you're not a reliable source uh, <laughs> <laughs> on that, that topic no i am not a reliable source um uh, yeah so anyways <laughs> we're gonna let's discuss um how do you feel about you know the 17 plus game that's it's still relatively new it's been out for a while sorry 17 plus games like, mm -hmm. do you think this is a, is this a plus or a negative, like, for Roblox? Like, is this going to be good or bad? I feel like it's a negative just for the simple fact that their voice chat and their, um, how do I say? How they identify that you're older mm -hmm. isn't very complex. I don't know if that's how you say it. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, my little sister used my mom's ID to have voice chat and all it did was change her birthday and she was able to get into um 17 plus servers and she's only 14. okay yeah uh i i agree i think um uh i know it's hard to regulate that kind of stuff because i'm sure they knew that that was going to happen you know oh yeah I, like I, I don't think there was any like there was no chance that that wasn't gonna happen so you know at least my opinion it, it's kind of bittersweet, you know, I like that They have these games available, but it's also a little contradicting and I think I, I think I kind of mentioned this earlier when, when we were in the the drink game um, mm -hmm. of how it'll still warn you if it hears bad language Like like you know what I mean? Like yeah. Roblox will warn but you in, mm -hmm. in the 17 plus when you're like typing in chat and you say a like a cuss word it doesn't monetize it exactly and it should do that for voice. You know, if you're in a 17 plus game, I would, I would think, well, all bets are like, everything's off the, on, off the table, you know, like I well, should yeah. be allowed to say a swear word and not get mm -hmm. penalized for it in a 17 plus game. So that's at least that's something they should fix in, in my own opinion. I got banned for cussing in that game. The first time I joined, what do you say? If, if you don't mind saying the, I'll bleep it out. But if you don't mind saying the cuss word to the audience, I called somebody off. <laughs> was it a man or, or, or a woman? It was a man. Uh oh. Hello? Oh, no! Why? No! My mic has just been suspended. Okay, um. That's fine. Go on Discord. All right. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Technical difficulty. You know, I just realized that. Um. Actually, I'm gonna mute me so because I'm already hearing you here. I just realized I kind of screwed you over when I asked you to say the curse word. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that 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 got you banned. Oh, I, dude, I feel bad right now. I had no idea. I, like, I was not thinking. It's all right. That okay. for a second. So my 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 apologies. My apologies. It's okay. Okay. So uh, we were talking about. We're back. So we were talking about um, why? Okay. 17 plus games could be good and bad. Um, we have a, gave our opinions on the system itself, mm -hmm. but think about, okay, think about it like, okay, so like a big topic right now is like free speech, you know, on social media. Uh -huh. So like, do you think that could play into it? The 17 plus game, like, you know, people are going to be able to say whatever they want. You know, is this going to be of an issue for Roblox now? You, you, you think? Um, Honestly, in non 17 plus servers there's already a huge issue with um 
people saying whatever they want. I feel in the 17 plus servers, it's just gonna get worse. And how worse? Hate speech worse? Yeah, just because here Roblox, um, from what I understand, it's a place where certain kids can dress how they want to. And there is a very big furry culture here. I mean, in the um, <laughs> drinking game, I saw like five of them. Yeah, no, you're right. Uh, it definitely is an infestation. I mean, a, a, a big community <laughs> in the Roblox community is, is sorry, uh, go on. No, you can. Do you, do you worry that the, the furry cult or the culture, or do you worry that the furry people will overtake Roblox? Like, do you, do you, is that something you fear? No. Ab about furries? No. Have you ever been to FurCon? No. Would you attend FurCon? No. I've been to Comic-Con. <laughs> well, well ha ha hang on a second. Hang on. You quite literally said earlier that, you know, especially Roblox, is a place where you can express yourself, design your character. And I can only assume Comic-Con, people do the same. So would you, wouldn't you say... Um, comic-con and furry con have their similarities yeah for sure if not just the same so then why would you go to furry con i wouldn't go to furry con because i don't dress or i don't have a fursona i'm not well hang on but you just said it was the same personally from what i understand comic-con is more like cosplay and youtubers i think i have that backwards um furry con is just like a furry hangout I feel furry con is their own comic con in a way because most of the time there's going to be furries there. People know that they're not going to be judged for what they're wearing. Well, let me ask you this. Okay. Uh, if there was a comic or a, you know, I'm assuming comic con is based on like comic books or he superheroes and um, stuff, stuff like that. Stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. If, if there was a comic that had to do with furries, would you attend that comic con slash furry convention? Honestly, I wouldn't mind just for the simple fact that it's not just going to be revolving around that one comic book. Like mm -hmm. at Comic-Con, people cosplay, um, I think it was Bowser and the whole Five Nights at Freddy's thing. People didn't like degrade people who are dressing up as Bonnie when mm -hmm. he's technically a bunny. We can switch topics if you want. Okay. <laughs>